Hey, this is Jared Dees from the religionteacher.com. There's a story at the end of the Gospel of Luke that we refer to as the, the road to Emmaus, because it's a story about two disciples talking about the passion and death of Jesus Christ in Jerusalem on their road to a village called Emmaus. And on their way, they're talking about all of the things regarding their Lord, Jesus, their master. And all of a sudden, this man appears who they don't recognize that is actually Jesus. And he asks them what they're talking about. And they, they're surprised because they figured that everybody knows about this story of the, the suffering and the death of Jesus Christ. And then they talk about the fact that they've heard that some people um, among their group have witnessed or talked about the resurrection. There's been women who, who saw a tomb that was empty. And still, they don't recognize that the person that they're talking about is the person standing before them, Jesus Christ. And so Jesus, the risen Jesus, travels along the road with these two disciples. And two important things happen along the road. Again, they don't recognize him. But as they're talking, Jesus starts to describe to them or open up to them the scriptures. So he talks about scriptures first. And then before he goes, the disciples ask him to stay with them and they break bread together. They, they celebrate the breaking of the bread, just like Jesus celebrated the Last Supper, just like the early Christians would celebrate as a way of, of communion, as a way of gathering together. They celebrated the breaking of the bread, which of course we call today the Eucharist. And after they celebrate the breaking of the bread, Jesus is gone. Jesus disappears. And the disciples are amazed because at that moment they recognize who it is they're with. That was Jesus. And they're so excited to bear testimony to share this experience of, of encountering Christ. And what they say about this encounter says a lot to us today as disciples. Two important things happen that we continue to celebrate when we go to Mass. When we celebrate the liturgy, we have the liturgy of the Word, we hear the readings, and we have the liturgy of the Eucharist. We celebrate the breaking of the bread. And just as the disciples on the road to Emmaus open up the scriptures, so too do we when we gather together as Christians. We read the Bible, and just like the disciples, we could say that our hearts were burning. That's what they said about that encounter with Jesus, that he opened up the scripture for them and their hearts were burning. So burning hearts. And what else happened in this story? They recognized Jesus for the first time in the breaking of the bread. How do we know Jesus? We know him through the Eucharist. The one thing, way we can read this story is recognizing that when we celebrate Mass, when we celebrate the liturgy, we are asking for the Lord to open up scriptures for us so that our hearts can burn with passion, with understanding, with love for the Lord. That we gather together in the breaking of the bread, the Eucharist, so that we can see and know that Jesus is here present with us. It's a wonderful story about the risen Jesus and a precursor, really, to the way in which Christian disciples are going to celebrate and remember and witness and encounter Christ for the rest of, of history. Go make disciples. God bless.